Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my review for Snow White and the Huntsman, the second Snow White movie to come out this year, and the only one that actually looked pretty good, because Mirror Mirror, wow, that looked really, really bad. It, it did, and from what I've heard, it wasn't that great. So this one, I was looking forward to because the trailer looked really cool, the special effects were amazing, I really like dark retellings of classic stories, even though from what I've heard, the Brothers Grimm story, not the Disney story, of course, uh, but the original story was actually pretty dark, but uh, I still like when fairy tales are dark, and um, I remember a Snow White movie that came out a few years back, like in 98 or 99, uh, starring Sigourney Weaver as the evil uh, mom, and no wait, the evil queen, uh, that's right, and uh, yeah, I thought that was a really cool little dark spin on the Snow White tale, and I couldn't wait to see more stuff like that. More dark stuff. And here we go. We got a new one, Snow White and the Huntsman. How did it fare? Let's talk about it. Okay, to make a long story short, because I tried to do this story before and it took me four minutes to explain it, here's the story. Okay, you have Snow White, who's a kid in the beginning, she's like 10, 11, whatever, and she has a queen as a mom and a king as a father. And she's the rightful heir to the throne when they both pass away. Uh, sadly, they pass away a little bit too early because the queen gets, uh, well, she just dies from unexplained circumstances. I think she was just sick. I don't know. Uh, they showed her cough once, so she's sick. Um, and the king gets killed by a woman he actually weds later on in the film, played by Charlize Theron, and she kills him to take over the throne because she's evil and hates men, and of course throws Snow White into a throne to spend the rest of her life until she dies. And of course Snow White breaks out like 10 years later when she's full grown and Christian stewardess, and uh... <laughs> She's a, she's Kristen Stewart now, that's what I'm saying. Uh, and now she breaks out somehow and she runs away, uh, but this is the funny part because now the queen, uh, played by Charlize Theron, uh, really needs her heart because if she eats her heart, she can become immortal. That's what the mirror on the wall said. And she's a witch and stuff and she's magical and if she eats her heart, she could become immortal and young forever. And she needs her heart and of course she ran away so now she has to get someone that is familiar with the place that she ran away with. And she gets the Huntsman played by Chris Hemsworth and he has to go out and find her and of course when he does he helps her out because he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. And he's Thor so he's a good guy. Uh, and um... He helps her out, and the story from there on goes through all the motions of a uh, Snow White tale. You have the dwarves, you have the magical mystery stuff, you got the dark stuff also, and of course you got the epic battle at the end, and that's pretty much the story of Snow White. I have to admit, I actually like this retelling of Snow White. I like the characters, especially all the dwarves. Chris Hemsworth, I love him as uh, the Huntsman, I thought he was great. Shirley Theron is evil, liked her in this. Uh, and Kristen Stewart, she didn't bug me. I I didn't hate her, so uh, I liked her kind of too a little bit. Yeah, so overall the story was actually pretty decent. Now the acting I already talked about a little bit. Um, Christian Stewart, like I said, she wasn't actually terrible in this. I mean, sure, there was a lot of parts where she would just stare off into the distance and go and do this, and like, wow. And she did. She smiled a little bit too, which I was like, oh, she could smile, and she like did this. And I was like. Oh. Ooh, I know that's painting, that, that's just killing her to do that, but she's smiling, and I'm like, oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> I thought Twilight just killed all humor for people, uh, unlike me. <laughs> that made me laugh. Uh, all the Twilight moves. Um, and <laughs> so she's okay in the film. Uh, Chris Hemsworth is great as the Huntsman, even though he's not in the movie as much as I hoped. I mean, his name is in the freaking title, so you'd think he would be in it a lot, but no. Uh, but he's still great. I, I love him. I think he's a great actor. Uh, I want to see him in more leading roles, though. I mean, Thor was the only thing he was a leading man in, so hopefully he gets more roles later on in the future um, where he's the leading man. Um, and um, Charlize Theron is evil as hell, even though I think she overre I mean, overreacts, uh, overacts a little bit sometimes. But she still does a great job. Uh, all the dwarves are played by really respectable actors. You have like Nick Frost from Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead. You have Bob Huskins. You have uh, Ion McShane, Ray Winstone, Toby Jones, um, Eddie Marson. You have a bunch of other people. I mean, there's actually eight dwarves in this. I'm sorry. And they all do a great job in this film. And the special effects for them are seamless as hell. And you, you just forget that they're actually real people. I mean real, like, tall people, uh, somewhat tall, like, from the five to six foot region, and, uh, 
And you forget about that because the special effects are so good and the characters are so lovable in the film because they're all like pretty much buddies and they're great. They're all great together. So overall, I think the acting is actually really good in this film. So yeah, good job. Definitely better than Twilight already. That being said, let's talk about the special effects and the action. I thought the special effects in this film were absolutely phenomenal. First of all, you have so many cool little designs, like even the places they roam through, like the forest areas and maybe some of the stuff that uh, they go through that shows off really weird things, like I don't want to spoil it, but there's a whole part in, in what they call the dark forest where uh, things just happen and it's weird to look at and I really don't want to spoil it because you have to see it. It's really cool. And uh, some of the really cool special effects like Charlize Theron turning into some other character but turning back into herself and you just see her face morph back into herself and it's really creepy to look at. Um, the whole ending fight scene with these like big glass type black creatures that come out and like shatter everywhere and reform back. It's really cool and all the designs for all the costumes and the, the places they go through and some of the really really cool gorgeous set pieces. It's a really nice looking film. It really is. Because the special effects are so good, the action is a lot of fun to watch. Even though it's not on the grand scale of something like Lord of the Rings and there's not as much action as you would think, it's still a lot of fun to watch. It's very well choreographed. Uh, the special effects are so good that you'll be like, yeah, that's really cool. So, uh, really, for men and women, you're getting all the things that you want. You get a Snow White tail. Uh, it, sure, it's darker, but you still get it. Um, you get, even get like a love... Uh, relationship in the film. Uh, you get a lot of action for all the dudes out there and the cool special effects and you even get some comedy in there with some of the dwarves and uh, some of the other things you see in the film. So overall I would say this is a really fun movie. I mean there's problems with it like some of the dialogue is a little hokey. Uh, it's very predictable at times. You see where some stuff is going like when the big speech is gonna happen like the big battle speech and where some character deaths or characters getting injured will happen but for the most part it is a fun little movie I'm gonna give it a 33 out of a 40 I thought it was fun definitely go check it out and much better than any Twilight Red Riding Hood or beastly movie out there so anyway there you go there's my review I hope you enjoyed it thank you and goodbye